All the state's treasurers were summoned to Canberra today by Scott Morrison. The task to tackle the housing affordability crisis. But all it did was highlight the difference in thinking between the states and the Commonwealth. Leah Craven joins us from Canberra. Leah, a busy end to a huge year. Absolutely. It's been a hectic final week of Parliament. Lots of late nights and wheeling and dealing. Most politicians hightailed it to the airport this morning, desperate to get home to see their families. But there was no rest for the Treasurer. He was hosting his state and territory counterparts and they were grappling with the very difficult issue of how to make housing more affordable across the country. Where is the truck? Here we go. For Malcolm Turnbull, Christmas can't come soon enough. You got a cricket bat? Yes. Very good. And a ball. Very good. Okay, there you go. As MPs and senators return to their electorates. Hey, Merry Thank Christmas. you. Tell Thank all you your too. family and friends. Thank I'm you. definitely ready for break. They've been reflecting on the year that was. Well, some big accomplishments over the last few weeks. I just want to cry. After a hard-fought election campaign, differences were put aside to get into the festive spirit. He said I was his only friend in the Labor Party. He is party. my only friend. Which is true. He's probably my only friend at all. But friends have turned into foes in the One Nation Party. Pauline Hanson and rogue Senator Rod Cullerton are at odds over the backpack attacks. Rod's not happy with the way that I voted on the floor of Parliament. Bill Shorten's also bitter, still fuming about the 11th hour alliance between the Coalition and the Greens to pass the bill. You couldn't write the chaotic mess, the story which Malcolm Turnbull's done this week. Three quarters of, uh, of, of something is better than 100% of nothing. Not everyone's got a ticket out of Canberra. The Treasurer stayed behind for a meeting with his state and territory counterparts. Housing affordability was on the top of the agenda. Victoria and New South Wales were on a unity ticket calling for reforms on negative gearing. At the very least, we need to see uh, it amended. I'm sure those issues will be canvassed today and I'm looking forward to the conversation. The federal treasurer won't budge. Well, the government isn't revisiting its position but on negative gearing. Politicians have a two-month break from Canberra before Parliament resumes again next year. It's fair to say that 2016 hasn't panned out exactly how the Prime Minister would have liked. He did win the election, but with a drastically reduced majority. However, he says he is the happiest he's ever been. Good to have a happy Prime Minister. Leah Craven, thank you.